Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and our book today is a little off the beaten track. This is entitled Paradox by uh, David Baker and Roger Lake. And this is the story, it's volume one of what will be a two-part series. And this is the history of George Fosbury and uh, his Paradox rifle. Now, some of you in, in the audience are going to recognize Fosbury primarily for the Webley Fosbury automatic revolver. And I'm sure some of you will recognize him primarily as the man behind the Paradox rifle. Well, the book here covers both Fosbury's history, um, his life and his various inventions, and then focuses primarily on the Paradox. Now, Fosbury uh, was a British Army officer in the late 1800s, mid to late 1800s, um, and was really an inveterate inventor. Uh, he tended to, when he focused on a problem, he would really dive into it and spend a lot of time and energy trying to come up with a really perfected solution. This worked out very well for him with the paradox, um, and reasonably well on some of other, his other inventions, although none of them achieved the, the same commercial success as the paradox. So Fosbury's inventions, just to run through the list, include, to start with, uh, an exploding bullet, which is actually the the weapon he was armed with when he earned the Victoria Cross in India. Um, he also invented, of course, the automatic revolver, for which he's relatively well known, uh, a pump-action shotgun, a, uh, a number of early magazine-fed rifles. He also developed a, a, an experimental breech loader for the British military around the time of the Snyder Enfield adoption and trials. Um, and none of those inventions really hit it off the way the Paradox did. Now, the, the Paradox was uh, an invention of his, basically a rifled choke for uh, a shotgun barrel, which was far superior to any others that were available at the time. And what it would allow one to do is have a double barrel shotgun that could just as well fire what we would today call slugs, uh, basically bullets. This was something that couldn't be done with a lot of accuracy uh, back in the, the late 1800s. And there was a, a real large, large demand for this sort of firearm, especially in areas like India, where one might be hunting bird and dangerous game, or dangerous game and light game uh, at the same time. Uh, Paradox, of course, was the name chosen for the gun because it did something that you didn't expect, uh, which was fire uh, pre solid projectiles accurately and also fire shot with a, a reasonable pattern. So let's take a quick look through here and you can see what the inside of the book is like. All right, so in total, this is 269 pages and about the first 55 cover Fosbury's life and various other inventions. Here he is with his picture of him with his Victoria Cross. Uh, we have his early breech loader. These are all overviews, not real in-depth technical discussions of the, the various guns, but uh, still quite interesting and a good source of information on something that isn't all that readily available. Um, brief section on the origins of the Paradox. Here's his uh, pump action or slide action shotgun. Of course his automatic revolver. And then, once we get to uh, a little after 55 pages, we're going to get into the section of the book that is exclusively on Holland and Holland and the Paradox double guns. So obviously start with development. And then they have a nice section on all the different versions of Paradoxes that were made. Um, because of course the, the Paradox itself was a rifling system, it could be made on a, a wide variety of, of actions. So there are some hammerless ones, there are some hammer guns, uh, there were some single barrels, mostly double barrels, various different types of locks, um, side levers, rear levers, under levers. Then, then we have a chapter on each standard bore size, so starting with 12, which was the most common. Um, obviously you can see some of the different types of engraving. These chapters cover discussion, cover uh, development and, and evolution of these guns, as well as looking at a variety of different examples of each type. Next up we have the 12 bore nitro. Uh, the original guns were for black powder, uh, but there was a version made for smokeless. We have the 8 bore, which is freaking huge. The 10 bore, the 16 bore, and the 
very, very rare production 28. All right, so there you go. You can see what you're getting into here. If the Paradox or British Double Rifles are your thing, you should consider picking up a copy while this book is still readily available. It is not on Amazon, but you can buy it directly from the publisher. If you're in the US, it'll be $95 postpaid. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Tune back into ForgottenWeapons.com for more interesting firearms information.